Welcome back. What do we got? We got Restoration Weekly. 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 Okay. First up, off the back of Sunday's video, the rust treatment one with the phosphoric acid. There's more questions. There's a lot of thank yous, but there's more questions than anything else. And it looks like by the questions, you guys want to do a deep dive, even deeper, on phosphoric acid, neutralizing acid, alkaline acidity, pH levels, all that stuff. And as I said, I'm no chemist. Or just been around this stuff. We deal with this stuff every day. We get asked. We deal with chemists in some of our other products, and we're sending stuff in and out of labs all the time. So, rather than answer any of the questions now, I think we're going to do. I don't know, what do you think, Evan? We do? Yes. Yes, we do. We do. Yeah. We do. We're going yeah. to do another video, and rather than just say what we believe or what we what we know or what we deal with, we're going to go back and forth with the chemists and do a deep dive on all of the acid, neutralizing different levels because it's, there's so many levels of depth there and different ways to do things. So I think we're gonna consolidate, is that the right word? Consolidate yeah. all the questions? Yeah. And do a second follow-up video just on acid and neutralizing steel. Because it is, it is the foundation of everything. Like you're putting three, four, five hundred hour, thousand hour jobs on top of this stuff. Um, so really it is, the, it is the cornerstone of getting things right. So we wanna be, absolutely spot on with this yeah it opened the door to lots of other questions about you know etch primers and different home remedies of baking sodas yep. and all sorts of other things that people do and like yeah that that's there's no right or wrong there but there's other techniques and things to look for and other stuff to do yep. and it kind of grew you know the amount of comments was yep. was massive and like we can't really even answer no. them. So no. we're going to have to do... <laughs> this is why we do it. But this is know. why we're doing this stuff. And this is why we're asking you guys to comment because together we're just sharing everything that we know and bringing it together and making it... Um, just helping out and educating everyone yeah. on different ways that work and don't work. So, so no answers now. But um, yeah. yeah, future episodes that will answer that and more. Speaking of future episodes, I don't know if you intended a segue or not. So I today we we... Filmed a previous version of today um, off-site at another workshop. We got there, we started, and there is just way too much to even cover in 10 to 15 minutes. We just got in, incredible workshop, amazing stuff, extremely inspirational, and it is we would have just done that an injustice of doing a restoration weekly from there and just trying to speed through it. So we have a lot of footage, um, and we're gonna do a special edition Sunday episode just on feature film of their workshop. So we're gonna do a little bit of a quickie montage here. Yeah, I'll flash some bits of it up right now. Okay. I'll just go da -da -da -da. Have a rough idea da -da -da. of what we did. Da -da 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 -da. But we spent hours there and right. a 10 or 15 minute um, walk around was not enough. Yeah. So uh, hang out for that. We're gonna, we'll try and get that together and fit it into a Sunday edition. Um, but 100%, 400% worthy of a full length detailed tour of the shop and explanation of process and everything else, which is awesome, which is great. Yeah. Back to... So what's this week then? This Sunday, we're back on the 356 or the 718 or the 537, whatever you want to call it. We're back on to amalgamating these two things together and try and make one vehicle. Um, so you can't see it from here though, because we've hidden it. We've hidden what we've done, yes. So, well, we have made this. Look, we've started to we've started to make some sheet metal. You know, we're starting to um, we're starting to fill in our window there. But there's always questions about the track width, the width, the offset, the wheelbase, the the wide body that's never going to fit. How are you going to fit wheels under there? All that sort of stuff. And we've been going back and forth with a, a custom wheel company, which is so exciting to have someone on board to design a set of wheels and make our own wheels. We've been really limited to going any further than that because we just didn't know where we're at. Like we didn't know if we could get a strut under here. Um, we didn't know where the recorder sat in relationship to the wheel, which in this episode on Sunday, which is done under there, we have made significant ground in confirming that our suspension fits under the car. Um, and now we can, we can head down that path. We can, we can order struts, we can take measurements. We've got the front wheels, the front, assembly there because the brakes are so huge you know these cars come with uh, what a 14 inch wheel originally 
Um, zero chance of fitting that. 15, forget it. 16, forget it. Very, very limited on 17 inch rim choice. Um, so those are actually bigger sports brakes, weren't they, on the 718? Yeah, because this so, is the up spec one. This yeah. is the S. So, so the bigger motor, big the bigger brake one. Um, it had 20s on it, the 718, but you can't you're not put 20s on this thing. So we're going to aim for a 17, custom made 17. Um, but the size of the caliper is one limiting factor. And then how much physical space we have between the strut and rear quarter and how far we can push offset to match tire width and all that stuff. So we're finally at a point we can start getting some measurements so we can go back and work. So I think we might do a restoration movie from the wheel guys. Um, yeah, to a... In the next week or two. Check in. Very soon. Yeah. 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 And go, we'll go to, you know, who, who hasn't dreamed about making their own wheels ultimately? Like, come on. If you, if, it goes without saying. Everyone wants to make their own wheels. So this is going to be, this is going to be another, another journey is going through the process of designing, manufacturing, fitting, the whole thing of making our own wheels, which would be really cool. We don't really have a choice. We don't have a choice anyway. because nothing's available. <laughs> you can't so, just buy some wheels for this thing. No. Nah. No. Nah. So all the work we've done on Sunday's video is under there. Um, it's really cool. It's starting to look, come together a little bit, I guess. We've made some, done some sheet metal work. Get to see how small it really is. Yep. Looks good though. So yeah, that's Sunday's video. That's Sunday. I've still got a heap of editing, so it could be Monday or Tuesday video, <laughs> but we're, we're trying for Sunday. That's it. Um, man, I don't know. What have we got? I don't know. That might be it for today. How are we looking for time? Too much going on. Well, that's seven minutes. We, go we try and do 10, but maybe today we do seven. Got anything else? Thinking. So, Russ, okay. So, so let's just, you can just cut that bit out if you want to. Um, <laughs> rust treatment, obviously, the, the tech videos we do are just based on the video, the conversations that we have with customers. You know, like, we're shipping paint product around the country every day, tech questions every day. So all we do is whatever is the tech question flavor of the week, um, we're putting them into tech videos for you guys. So absolutely love the, the, the comments, the questions that everything else, like the interaction between everyone and the sharing is fantastic. But if there is something else related, our, our strength, I guess we'd say, our strength is um, bodywork firstly, primarily, um, paints and coatings secondary, and then all this sort of stuff is like, for fun, but been around it for a long time. So if you've got questions, tech questions, or even if you know we get visitors to come and help work on the cars, and you'll see in the next week or two, we're going out to a shop, feature film on their shop, which you would have done the montage of by now. Um, we've got another whole bunch of shops. So you would have seen the montage of the shop played already. Um, we've got a whole another bunch of shops lined up some of them around the country. So if you like the one coming up while well, you're keen or you want to name drop a shop, you'd maybe you want to see a little, have an insight, a little, you know, explore in the back rooms of or a shop. Or if it's your shop. Or if it's your you shop. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us know. And then um, as we travel right. around, we say good day. I actually had a guy I tech call this morning or yesterday. Um, it was a guy in Western Australia. He's got a YouTube channel. He's got an Instagram account. He loves what we're doing. I checked out his stuff. I know his name and it's just, it's awesome. It's just sharing and, you know, letting people know you're around. So get involved. Really? What else? Yeah. Cool. Like, subscribe. All right. Like, subscribe. <laughs> you got to go. You got to finish editing. Yeah. And I got a ton of phone calls to make. So. All right. That's cool. it. All right. See ya.